So um, I actually wrote a few things here about Andy. In fact, it's not a long speech. <laughs> okay. All right. So let. <laughs> so as a scientist, I like to be uh, give you a lot of details about Andy's life. All right. As as you know, Andy is very adventurous. We were living in a small apartment in Rochester, Minnesota. Right? It was snowing, right? There was snow. And Andy wanted to break free, and he opened the door that leads to the balcony, and he jumped from the second floor. <laughs> so that's Andy for you, you know. <laughs> Fearless, you know, adventurous. All of us who knew Ashton know she has many amazing qualities about her. She's funny, beautiful, confident, and some of, my most, some of my most favorite attributes she encompasses is being unbelievably driven and hardworking. Any Anything literally Ashton puts her mind to, she's gonna do it well and make it look flawless when she does it. <laughs> now I have feelings. <laughs> you look so handsome. Mm. You're, you're all suited up for your speech. Yeah. You look so good, Dad. Gorgeous. I love you. God, it looks great. Really? Yes. I love you so much. I love you. Oh my god, there she is. You look beautiful. Look at the back. It's beautiful. Love it. It's amazing. <laughs> so beautiful. Wow. So glad. <laughs> I don't want to leave you. <laughs> oh, no. This is all we get? Yeah. <laughs> it's all we get to see each other at the altar? Yeah. Also, Ashton, wow, you look stunning. Woo! Like, incredible. I got ready today. I got like, I got the pocket square. My fiance said like, you look amazing. She hadn't seen you yet. So <laughs> you look stunning. So, and Andy, you look okay. I, I could honestly go on and on about uh, adventures Andy and I have been on. I like to call them our adventures. You know, we've been to the Philippines. We've been to New Orleans numerous times. We've done all sorts of things, music festivals. But the reality is that the most important one is ACL in 2016. But that's, that's when Andy and Ashton met, and I don't think at the time that he knew that Ashton was gonna be the one that he spends the rest of his life with. But luckily, that's what's happening. Uh, in our 20s, um, you know, Lindsay and Sarah and I, we'd all kind of like met our person. We were pretty settled down. And I remember Ashton called me. I think I recall her saying, like, where's the person I'm supposed to marry? I'm supposed to get married. Who is this person? Flash forward a couple years later, um, she brought Andy to Atlanta. Um, but then I met him and I was like, oh, he's really great. I was like, I like him. He was talking about art and the travels that he had gone on and what he did for work. And I was just like, ooh, this, this is the guy. Just a piece of advice for both of you. You are a perfect, perfect match. You know why? Do you like to enjoy life at the fullest? You like, you know, to travel, you like, you know, to do crazy stuff. So do that as much as you can. Because in a blink of an eye, you're gonna be here standing like me in a ceremony like this. Dear Ashton, I'll still never forget the first time I saw you. I've never really believed in love at first sight before that moment, thinking it was something reserved for cheesy rom-coms and not reality. But at that moment, I felt a connection so deep and powerful, like a current had just swept me up at the sight of you. You made me feel a way no man has ever made me feel. You are so easy to love, and life with you just feels complete. Watching The Good Place, you teared up. You said you thought about how one day you were going to have to leave me, or I was going to have to leave you. It's so crazy how two people who share no blood can be so spiritually attached and bonded together like you and I. I know marriage is about 
peaks and valleys. Times won't always be great, but I want you to know that no matter how hard things get, I will never ever give up. I look forward to the life we get to share together, growing old and crusty together, and all the adventures we get to have on the way. I love you with all my heart and soul. Gracias a Dios que te tenga a ti. When I first met Andy, I was thinking, he don't sound like a Texan. <laughs> he, he, don't, he don't talk like us, you know? And, uh, and then I learned he was a Marine. So any man that can be a Marine, come back, finish his degree, and have a successful career like he's done, is a fine man and a fine son-in-law. Thank you, son. Walks in the house.